Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show you how to create 3D landscape with Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's go to project, right mouse and new composition. Add name Element 3D and change sizes full HD and 10 seconds. Click OK. So right now, let's create new solid layer. Add name Element 3D, change color black, click OK and select solid layer, go to FX, Video Copilot and Element. And let's go to Scene Setup. I will use Terrascape, let's open folder. Also I will add link on the description below for use these 3D models. And for example, let's use Alien Landscape, let's click for add scene here. Ok, very nice, let's see. And for better quality textures, click Draft Textures. Very good. So, in this time, let's go to Presets, Environment, and Backlight Environment. So, we can use Environment Images here, or we can import from PC. Let's go to Environment, and click here for Choose Environment Image. Select this Sunset, and click Open. Also, I will add this link on the description below for download this sunset SRI image and click OK. For C environment image, click this checkbox. Let's see. Very nice. And go to environment. Let's change a little bit like this labels. Click OK. So in this time, let's click OK. Ok, and let's right mouse, go to new and create new camera. And right now, let's change presets 15mm and click OK. So right now we can control camera movements with these icons or we can press C in keyboard. Let's press C and change view like this. Ok, not bad. And Let's select this camera, right mouse, go to camera and create orbit null for camera movements and for moved anchor point center. Hold control and double click pan behind icon. Classification tool, select null 1, press P and let's create new parts in keyframe. Go to 10 seconds and let's use movements like this and move to left a little bit. Ok, let's see. Ok, not bad, I like it. So, in this time select this element already, go to render settings and physical environment. Let's click show in background. Ok, and we can change exports here. Or we can change gamma. And open rotation. And we can control rotate environment. Let's see. Nice, let's change rotation like this. Ok, very good. And we can change rotation like this. So, cool. And in this time, let's go to Ambient Occlusion. Let's enable for realistic shadows. And change intensity 10. Let's see. Very nice. And let's back to physical environment. In first second, let's create Y rotation keyframe and select element 3D, press U for C active keyframes and go to last second and change rotation like this. Let's see. Ok, pretty good. And let's change this little bit to late for more slow animation. Ok, so in this time let's create new light. I will use spotlight and change color a little bit yellow. Click OK, click OK again and select this Y axis and change for sun like this. Let's see. Nice, very good. And select element 3D, go to shadows, let's enable and change shadow mode ray trace it. In this time, let's open fog and enable fog here and open fog color 
change to white for realistic fox click ok and let's change distance like this and fog range okay and change distance let's see okay so go to fog color and change a little bit like this click ok and let's play settings Okay, let's see. Nice, very good. I like it. And also we can change for color to blue. Like this. Click OK. Okay, let's see. Nice, very good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.